a new get ready with me and today's get ready with me will be a makeup suitable for mask so of course now during this period all of us are wearing masks out one of the biggest problem we have is having our makeup transferred to our mask and i also have a lot of questions from you girls that your makeup is always transferring and you really want to find a smudge proof makeup routine for your mask so i decided to make this video although one of the biggest perks of wearing mask right apart from the whole safety reasons and stuff kind of help to cover up our face so we don't really need to put a lot of makeup on but now that we get to dine out we can take out our mask when we are dining out and that kind of shows our entire face so sometimes we also want to look good while we are eating okay first of all i will be using this by terry brightening cc serum and this is a very hydrating serum it is also brightening for my face so i always use this as a base i try to skip foundation as much as i can because when you wear mask right it's gonna definitely cause a lot of moist around here and it's gonna break apart 100 percent especially around the nose Okay, I'm done with the base and I'm gonna be doing the concealer. For this, I'm using a Can Make Color Mixing Concealer and this concealer is like cream type. Just gonna be using this brush from Etude House. I'm taking the brightest shade and tapping it under my eye. Can you already see the difference? So just tap, 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 tap in the corner of the eyes too. I have a lot of like redness and discoloration here. under my nose too a lot of redness here Okay, I'm done concealing my face and now I'm going to be setting my makeup with this Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder and this powder actually has skincare properties so that's the reason why I decided to use this So using a sponge like that, I'm going to just tap a bit tap off the excess on my hand focus on the area that I've concealed Kind of like baking it but not really baking it but just making sure to set those areas with concealer so after setting the concealed areas with powder, we are going to go over the entire face Tap off the excess So on top of helping to set your makeup right This kind of helps to blend out and dust off all the excess powder just now I really need to get a concealer that is one tone down Because this is way too dark for my skin So usually after setting my face with powder, I don't really like to leave it super dry and like cakey like that So I'm just going to go on with a makeup refreshing spray And this is from Fenty Beauty, it's called What It Do Filling in my brows like how it always is I'm gonna use my very dirty kit eyebrow kit to contour my nose. So these two shades. So well, nowadays I kinda like to make my nose tip sharper, right? I like to use this medium tone and then just draw this V shape here. Use my finger to blend out the harsh lines. Alright, now moving on to the eye makeup, I want to make my eye makeup a little more drastic but not too drastic so I can still wear on a daily basis. You all know my makeup style, it's drastic but not drastic at the same time. So I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette called 3 and this is a Japan brand. kind of like the packaging of it, it's very sleek. I'm just going to be using this shade on the side. Very quick and easy way of doing my eye makeup, I always like to do it this way. Anyway, recently I am not really into doing a lot of get ready with me because I feel like my looks right are pretty similar. So there's not much that I can really share with you. Apart from like new routines that I have, for example like this one, when I wear masks, I kind of change up my routine a bit. But please let me know down in the comments if you still like to watch get ready with me. I feel like not a lot of people are into get ready with me or makeup videos that much recently. A lot of people are actually really good at their own makeup now so. <laughs> okay, so I'm done with that. I love this eye makeup because it's a really quick way to just glam up your look. I'm using this Kate Crush Diamond Eyes eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this gold glitter eyeshadow and just put it in the middle here just now where I didn't put any eyeshadow. So pretty, so glittery. And I just tap it on more using my finger. Sometimes with glitter formula, right, it's always better to use your finger. Somehow the glitter catch on your fingers more. And then using this Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow. It is in the shade 9 Desert. This is a very sparkly shade. I just like to put it under eye and my inner corner of the eye. 
so sparkly. Okay, then I'm going in with a cat eye eyeliner. Mark the line first. Then join the line. Then fill it in. Curl your lashes and put on some mascara. Using my favorite heroine makeup mascara. Oh my god, I really love this mascara to death. Just look at my eyelashes. So for some extra glam, I'm gonna use this Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. It's this glitter eyeliner. So just brush it at the bottom. Some glitter growing on, glitter, you know. You can see? Can you see? Okay, so for this makeup, right, I will try to skip the blush because I don't really want to transfer to my mask. I'm removing my lip balm. So one of the most disturbing things when you're wearing mask, right, is when your lipstick actually transfer over to your mask. And especially when you're wearing those white uh, reusable mask, right, and then you see your lipstick here, oh my god, that's damn disgusting, that's one thing. Yeah, and the lips kind of just get ruined. So the best way to do this is to wear lip tint. And of course, a lot of lip tint don't work on crack and like dry lips. I know I've shared with you about this um, velvet tint before from Mersey, but really this is a lifesaver during this period of time. So this is kind of like a creamy tint, right? It doesn't just go on the dry skin, you know? So I really love this and it's really budge proof. I like to apply on my entire lip first. And then using a tissue, I'm gonna tap off all the excess. Press it. It really stains your lips, look at that. And then I just tap, tap, tap. The excess product is on the tissue instead of my lips. And then we finish off the makeup with this setting spray that I used just now, the Fenty Beauty one. So my makeup don't really smudge or transfer that much generally, but that's only because my skin is extremely dry. But if you have oilier skin, you may want to go for a matte foundation and also a good long-lasting setting spray like the Urban Decay one. So that will really keep your makeup on the entire day. So this is how it looks like when I have mask on. The eyes are still very pretty, you know? Sorry, the mask is kind of big on my face, but you do this and you look like quite cute. And then you remove your mask and you look like... WHAT?! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the completed makeup look. I hope you learned something and I hope this kind of helps your routine a little bit. So thank you so much for watching my Get Ready With Me. I hope you like it. And if you have any other requests for any other kinds of videos, please let me know at the comment section below and I would love to look into it and, you know, do it for you. Okay, so thanks so much for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye! Uh, she me at the college. Her friends play my songs and they've been following me. Yeah, I don't like to do that much explaining and talking.